Hey everyone! Did you know that over 70% of DIY projects end up as complete fails? Yup, that's right! So, have you ever tried a DIY experiment that turned into a total disaster? Well, grab some popcorn because I'm about to take you through my latest fan experiment that went absolutely wrong. Introduction Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the wild world of DIY experiments, you know, those projects that everyone seems to love but can sometimes lead to chaos. I decided to take on a fan experiment, thinking it would be a fun and easy project. Little did I know, it would turn into a lesson in what not to do. Let's jump right in. Presentation of problem slash challenge. So, here's the deal. I wanted to create a super cool fan setup that would not only keep me cool during those hot summer days but also look awesome in my room. The plan was simple, use an old desk fan, some LED lights, and maybe a few other gadgets to make it really pop. But as I started gathering my materials, I quickly realized that things weren't going to go as planned. First off, the fan was way older than I thought, and it had some serious safety concerns. I had to double check if I could even use it safely. Then, as I was attempting to put everything together, I realized I didn't have half the tools I needed. Talk about a bit of a setback. Exploration slash development. Alright, so after gathering some basic tools, I started my experiment. I laid out my old fan, LED lights, and some duct tape, yes, the miracle tool for DI years everywhere. I thought, this is gonna be a piece of cake. But as I plugged in the fan to start the assembly, I noticed a strange smell. Yup, that old fan was not happy. I decided to power through anyway and started attaching the LED lights. At first, it seemed like everything was going smoothly. I was feeling pretty proud, but then, boom. The lights flickered and went out. Turns out, I connected them wrong, and I could have burned out the whole circuit. I was sweating bullets, thinking I'd just ruined my only fan for the summer. Climax slash key moment. Now, here comes the dramatic part. After some frantic rewiring and a few what was I thinking? Moments, I finally got everything set up. I took a deep breath and flipped the switch. The fan roared to life, and I was like, yes. But then, the fan started wobbling, and I could feel my heart racing. Suddenly, it tipped over, sending LED lights flying everywhere. I jumped back just in time, but my heart was pounding. I was staring at the chaos in disbelief. It was like a scene out of a comedy movie. I realized that I had completely underestimated the weight distribution and safety of my DIY setup. What a mess. Conclusion slash summary. So, what did I learn from this whole debacle? Well, for starters, always check your materials and tools before diving in. Safety is key, and sometimes those old fans aren't meant to be repurposed. And honestly, maybe I should have watched a tutorial or two before going all in. Next time, I'll definitely take a step back and plan things out better. Plus, I'm thinking it's best to stick to projects that don't involve old electronics. Call to action, CTA. Alright, that's it for today's DIY adventure gone wrong. I'd love to hear your own DIY disaster stories in the comments below. Have you ever had a project go completely off the rails? And don't forget to check out my other videos for more fun experiments and maybe a few more fails. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next one.